the most promising RP treatments, in next 10 years. In the coming 8 to 10 years, we can expect more and more RP treatments, to enter the market, and provide curative solutions. Some of them, are promising, and close to get FDA approval. 1. One of the most anticipated technologies, is CRISPR-Cas9, which has revolutionized the world, by making gene editing, simpler than ever. However, the use of gene therapy, will likely be limited, to a small number of patients, with specific mutations. 2. Developing a gene therapy, is expensive, making it unfeasible to develop one for each mutation, especially for extremely rare mutations. To overcome this challenge, some companies are designing new approaches, to make a single therapy suitable for everyone. In the case of GenSite, the company is developing a treatment, that combines gene therapy, with a wearable device, to potentially treat all types of RP. The gene therapy, is used to introduce a light-sensitive protein, within neurons in the optic nerve. A pair of goggles, helps redirect and concentrate the light, toward the modified cells, which will then convert it into a signal, for the brain. A phase 1 and 2 trial, is currently testing this technology. 3. Nanoscope, is focused on proprietary ambient light activated optogenetic therapy, to restore vision in people suffering from RP, Stargard, and dry AMD. Genetic retinal degenerative diseases, cause vision loss, as cells of the retina, gradually become dysfunctional. Nanoscope's proprietary gene therapies, correct the condition by delivering light-sensitive molecules, called multi-characteristic opsins, MCO, into retinal cells. 4. ProQR Therapeutics, has developed several treatments, for gene mutation of CEP290, USH2A and the exon 13. 5. Myrex, sponsors of RPGR gene therapy, for RPGR-associated X-linked retinitis pigmentosa, XLRP, and has obtained positive results, in the previous phase 1 and 2 clinical trials. This therapy, lies in the intravitreal administration of vectors, carrying the normalcopy of the gen RPGR. How to make the best preparation, of the future treatments, and increase the success rate, of the future treatments. To maintain, a healthy retinal environment, and protect the optic nerve function, are two traits towards the path to success. Currently, there are two ways, available of neuroprotection, and keeping a balanced retinal environment. 1. Stem active, pretreatment for gene therapy, and stem cell treatment. Stem active, not only increases blood flow to the retina, improves oxygen and nutrients, supply to activate dormant rods and cones, but also contains anti-inflammatory, anti-oxidative and anti-apoptosis components. It restores the dormant optic cells function, and optimizes the microenvironment of the retina. Genetic material and stem cell can be injected into a certain zone in the eyes and eventually cure RP. But, without a healthy retinal environment, an inflamed surrounding, could end in a complete failure of any therapy. 2. AC stim, enhances the activity, and function of the retinal cells, thereby reinforcing visual signaling, along the optic nerve, and restoring impaired vision. The lower frequency, increases energy production, ATP in the retina, reverts the damaging retina, preserves visual acuity, and the visual field. The higher frequency, helps relax the retinal tissue, increases blood supply, to the retina, stimulates and energizes dormant rods and cones. It also, attracts adult stem cells, to help activate possible cell regeneration. For more details of stem active, and AC stem pretreatment, for gene and stem cell therapy, please review, www.RestoreVisionHerbs.com.